25 December 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhaktata Madhupan Sweet children the father is the benefactor in every situation therefore don't make any excuses for not following the directions you are given but constantly content to follow shrimat question what is the difference between the attainments from doing intense devotion and those from studying intensely answer by performing intense devotion you choose to receive visions for instance devotees of shri krishna might have visions of shri krishna and dance but they don't go to the land of paradise or the land of shri krishna your children study the study intensely and all your desires are fulfilled by studying the study you go to the land of paradise song if not today tomorrow the clouds will disperse oh wandering travelers of the night it is now morning let's go home om shanti who said let's go home when someone child sulks and leaves home his friends and relatives go after him and ask him why he is sulking and say let's now go home here too the unnoted father comes and explains to all of your children there is the father and dada there is the physical one and also the spiritual one he says oh children let's now go home the night has now come to an end and the day is coming these are matters of knowledge who explains about the night of brahma and the day of brahma the father sits here and explains to brahma and to you brahma kumars and kumaris for half a cycle it is the night which is the empire kingdom of ravan a correct kingdom because people follow devilish dictates you are not following shrimat shrimat is also incognito we know that the father himself comes his form is different from ravan's that one is called ravan the five vices the kingdom of ravan is now to end and there will then be god's kingdom they will speak of the kingdom of ram they do not chant the name of ram who belongs to sita when they chant the name ram ram while turning beads of a rosary they are remembering god the supreme soul they continue to chant the name of the one who is the bestower of salvation for all ram means god when they turn the beads of a rosary they do not remember any human being no one else would enter their intellects so the father explains that the night has now come to an end thus is the field of action the stage where we souls adopt bodies and play our parts we each have to play a part for 84 births the clans are also shown in that image because there has to be the account of 84 births the births caste and clans that you come in thus is why the variety form image is shown first of all all brahmans there couldn't be 84 births in just the golden age sun dynasty there are not 84 births in the brahman clan the 84 births take place with different names and forms different lands and times from the golden age to the pratham stage all definitely have to come down to the iron age tama pratham stage that time period is also shown how human beings take 84 births it's something to be understood human beings cannot understand this and therefore the father says you don't know your own births i tell you about them the father understands that according to the drama you definitely have to forget everything thus is now the confluence age the world says that the iron age is still an infant that is called ignorance extreme darkness just as actors in a drama know when the drama will end in 10 minutes so this too is the living drama people don't know when it will end 
they are in extreme darkness. The father says, I cannot be found through gurus, etc. The Vedas and scriptures are by doing penance and tapasya. Those things are the paraphernalia of the path of devotion. I come at my own time when the night has to be made into the day. That is when the innumerable religions have to be destroyed and the one religion established. Only when the world cycle ends can I establish heaven. Then the servant to begin state away. You know that you will then take birth to a king and that gradually the new world will be created. Everything has to be made new. Baba is explained that the soul has the sanskars of studying and performing actions. The children should now become soul conscious. All human beings are body conscious. Only when they become soul conscious can they remember the supreme soul. First of all, there is the question of becoming soul conscious. All say that they are living beings. They also say that each soul is imperishable and that bodies are perishable. That a soul sheds a body and takes another. They say this, but they don't live by it. You don't know that souls come from the incorporeal world. They have imperishable parts in them. The father sits here and explains this. Souls take rebirth. The drama repeats identically. Then Christ, etc. all have to come. Each one comes at his own time to establish his own religion. This is now the religion of the Brahmins of the Confluence Age. Those Brahmins are worshippers, whereas you are becoming what they worship. You would not perform worship. People carry out worshipping, etc. The father explains, this is such a great study. You have to imbibe so much. Imbibing everything in depth is number wise. In a nutshell, you understand that Baba is the creator and that this is his creation. Acha, at least you understand that he is the father. All devotees remember the father. There are devotees and also children. Devotees call out Baba. If devotees are God, then to whom are they calling out when they say Baba? They don't even understand this much. They consider themselves to be God. Baba says, according to the drama, when the condition of Bharat became such, when Bharat is in its last stage, it is then that the father comes. Only when Bharat becomes old, can it be made new again. When it was new Bharat, there were no other religions. That is called heaven. Now that Bharat is old, it is called hell. There, we were what they worship, whereas here, there are worshippers. The difference between what they worship once and worshippers has been shown to you. I, the soul, was what they worship, and I, the soul, am a worshipper. I, a soul, am a jnani soul. I, a soul, am a worshipper soul. God would not be called a worthy of worship one who becomes a worshipper. That would be said of Lakshmi and Narayan. So let it enter your intellects how they became worthy of worship and how they then became worshippers. The father says, I gave you the same knowledge in the previous cycle too. I gave it every cycle. I come at the confluence age of the cycle. My name is the pure of fire. I come when the whole world is impure. Look, this is the tree and Brahma is standing at the top. First he is shown at the beginning. Now all are at the end. Just as Brahma has been revealed at the end, in the same way they will also come at the end. For example, Christ will also come at the end. However, we cannot show his picture at the end, that is at the end of the branch. We can explain about it 
just as there is this Prajapita Brahma who establishes the deity relation standing at the top of the tree. In the same way, Christ is also a Prajapita, the father of the people of the Christian religion. Just as this one is Prajapita Brahma, so there is Prajapita Christ and Prajapita Buddha. All of them are those who establish religions. Even Shankaracharya of the sannyasis would be called a father. They called them gurus. They would say that their guru was Shankaracharya. So the one who is standing at the beginning of the branch will come at the end after taking rebirth. Now, all are in their Tamapratthan state. They will also come and understand. They will definitely come to salute the father at the end. They would also be told to remember the unlimited father. The unlimited father says to everyone, renounce your body and all bodily relations. This knowledge is for those of all religions. All have to renounce their bodies, consider themselves to be bodiless and remember the father. The more you stay in remembrance and embed knowledge, the higher the status you will claim. However, much knowledge they took in the previous cycle, they will definitely come and claim that again. Your children should have great pride in being the children of the Father, the creator of the world. The Father is making us into the masters of the world and is teaching us Raj Yoga. This is such an easy thing. However, while moving along, there are doubts about little things. These are called storms of Maya or test papers. The father says that you have to live at home with your families anyway. If I were to tell everyone to leave their families, they would all come and sit here. You also have to pass through all the interactions. Then one day's time, you will become engaged in doing service. Those who have left their businesses, etc., are then meant to become engaged in doing service. Some then become upset. Others understand that there is benefit in following Srimad. You definitely have to follow Srimad. When you are given directions, you mustn't make excuses. The father is the benefactor in everything. Maya is very mischievous. There are many who think that rather than living like this, it would be better to have a business or get married. Their intellect continues to spin. They then stop studying. Some give a guarantee to the father that they will definitely follow Srimad. Those are devilish dictates and these are cost directions. When devilish dictates are followed, very severe punishment is experienced. In order to frighten people so that they don't commit more sin, they have written fearsome stories in the Garud Purana. However, people still don't reform themselves. The father explains all of this. No human being can be the ocean of knowledge. The knowledgeful father, the ocean of knowledge is explaining to you. Those who understand then explain to others. Who then say, this is something good. We will come again. However, that's it. As soon as they leave the exhibition, everything is over. Yes, if even two or three emerge, that is also good. Many subjects continue to be created. Hardly anyone worthy of claiming the inheritance emerges. A king and queen would have one or two children. They would be said to be a royal family. There are so many subjects. Subjects are very quickly created, but there are no kings created. Up to the end of the Silver Age, there are 16,108, whereas there would be millions of subjects. A very broad and unlimited intellect is needed to understand this. We are claiming our inheritance from the Father from beyond. The Father's orders are, remember me, and remember your inheritance, man manabhav and madhajibhav. Heaven is the land of Vishnu, whereas this is the land of Ravan. 
The father explains, there is the land of peace, the land of happiness and the land of sorrow. By remembering the father, your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. On the path of devotion, they remember Shri Krishna, but that doesn't mean that they will go to the land of Shri Krishna. No, perhaps in the trance they have, they will go and perform a dance in the land of Shri Krishna and then come back. That's the influence of intense devotion through which their desires are fulfilled by being able to receive a vision. However, the golden age is the golden age. You need to study intensely to go there. You don't need to perform intense devotion, content to study. You definitely need to study the Murlis. You definitely have to go to a center. Otherwise, take a Murli and definitely study it at home. Some people are told to go to a center. It is different for each one. It cannot be the same situation for everyone. It isn't that Baba says, eat whatever food you have after giving a drishti and that's all. No. Baba says, in desperate circumstances, when you are unable to do anything else, give your food drishti and then eat it. Baba would not say this to everyone. For instance, Baba says to some, you may go to see films. However, this doesn't apply to everyone. You may have to accompany someone and so you also have to give that one knowledge. That is a limited drama whereas this is the unlimited drama. Therefore, you have to do service. It isn't that you have to go there just to watch film. You have to go to the cremation grounds too and do service there. Acha, to the sweetest, be loved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaktada. The spiritual father says, Namaste, to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says, Namaste, and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dhatna. First point, consider there to be benefit in everything that the Father tells you and content to move along with your intellect having firm faith. Never allow thoughts to come. Understand Srimad accurately. Second point, practice being soul conscious. Each actor has an eternal part in the drama. Therefore, practicing each one as a detached observer. Blessing. May you constantly stay within the line of safety and experience God's canopy of protection over you and thereby become a conqueror of Maya. Explanation. The Father and you is the line of safety. The safety line is God's canopy of protection. Maya will not have the courage to come to those who stay under this canopy. You will then be ignorant of what effort is, what an obstruction is, or what an obstacle is. You will remain constantly safe and merge in the Father's heart. This is the easiest way of making effort, of going at a fast speed, and of becoming a conqueror of Maya. Slogan when you remain decorated with all the ornaments of divine virtues, you cannot then have any arrogance. Aum. Shanti.